He was uh, an extraordinary man who ranged over an extraordinary number of things and I didn't like very many of them. I hated some of them. You know, I hated most of them, in fact. But sort of, at the same time, my mind kept going back to them. He's something that you can't forget. You can, you can have hypnotherapy, you can sort of go through all kinds of counselling and you can't forget these things. He was quite a disappointing man, um, obviously quite a big man. Here's a guy who's been published in translation and um, you know he's affected film and music and comics and he's been present at all these cultural sort of historical things throughout history and um, has sort of affected those things and yet he just seems to have been written out of history as if he was there at the inappropriate time or like he jumped the gun, you know. Um, and that's just one of the many ways that Lint just really annoys people and just irritates people a lot and just want to pretend that he never existed. People tend to be slightly weirded out by his stuff and um, now there are people just beginning to do what Lint was breaking through in sort of, in the 50s really. Intelligent man. He was a man. He had two legs, two arms, a torso, and a head. And who can say more? Who can say more than that? He's he almost represents a kind of a lost something that is so lost that we cannot even remember what it was that we lost. It's, it's not a lost generation, it's not even a lost talent. I'm not sure what it was. Like I say, I still don't actually understand Jeff Lynne's mm. writing. But, you know, it's, he was completely overlooked.